I've wanted to do an Ocado grocery shop for years and up until very recently they didn't deliver to my areas. Every so often I would go onto their website and enter my postcode hoping that they decided to start delivering locally but it was not to be until very recently. I know that most of the stuff that they carry is from Waitrose and I can actually get Waitrose deliveries so I'm not sure why I was so fixated on a cardo. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just purely that I couldn't get deliveries from them, so that made me really, really want to. So you can imagine how excited I was to do this grocery shop. It also helped that I had a 30% off discount code for my first shop, so I'm going to show you what I got, how much it came to, what I'm planning to make with it, and the big question, will I be shopping with a cardo again after this particular experience? So stay tuned to the end to find out. So before I show you everything I got, I just wanted to say one thing that I kind of messed up a little bit. I did my grocery shop and I checked out before I lost my slot because you only have an hour window as opposed to two with some other supermarkets. Please excuse the dog barking. I've let her out for a wee and she's decided she really wants to come back in. So because I didn't want to lose my slot and it was just before the school run as well, I did my shopping, checked it out and I thought I'll come back later and go through it and add anything that I've forgotten. But what I didn't realize is that Cardo gives you a much earlier cutoff time for amendments and I missed it by five minutes. The cutoff time was 5.25 and I went back on at 5.30 to try and add some extra bits. So there are some things in this order that, well, there's one or two things that I realized after placing the order I didn't actually need, like a giant thing of toilet roll, because I have loads, but never mind, we'll still use that. But there were a few things that I wanted to get that I couldn't get because of the cutoff time. So that's a little bit annoying because now I'm gonna have to get those separately this week to make the things that I intended to make. It's not entirely their fault, I should have checked, but it is a lot earlier. I think every other supermarket gives you until 11 p.m. that night, so I just assumed it would be the same. But other than that, I had a really good experience doing my online shop. I will show you what I got and stay tuned to see what I'm planning to make and what I thought of the overall service so far. So starting this side, I got two packets of chicken breast fillets. These were on offer. I think it was two for seven pounds. Then I also got some chipolata sausages for the kids. These were reduced as well, I think, to £2.50 or £3, which isn't bad at all. And underneath, I got a large pack of beef mints for a chilli. And if you watch my grocery videos, you'll know I make chilli most weeks because it's Marnie's favourite and it's the best way to get some decent food and veg into her. So I tend to make one every week and luckily everyone else in the family likes it, although I'm sure we're gonna get sick of it at some point. Down here I have some pancetta and the last of the meat is this packet of breaded chicken steaks, which I will show you what they are for a little bit later on. At the back here, I have two bottles of semi-skim milk and two cartons of Oatly Barista milk. Moving on to veg, these were on offer as well. They are the baking potatoes, and I'm really pleased with how big these are, because I've noticed in other supermarkets, they tend to be really small. So yeah, I'm pleased with those. I think they are Ocado, yeah, they're Ocado own brand. So impressed with the baking potatoes, and they were quite reasonable as well. Then at the bottom here, I have some salad onions, some mixed peppers, and another thing I noticed that I don't think I've seen anywhere else is that they do four in a packet, and you definitely get a yellow one. Has anyone else noticed that yellow peppers just seem to not exist anymore? I seem to always get two red and a green in a pack instead of yellow. Don't know why, but at least I've got one in this pack and I have two red, which is good because I use the red more than the other colours anyway. Then we have some tomatoes. These were, again, on offer. I tried to pick up all the more reasonable items that they had or things that were reduced or on special offer just to test them out and also to bring down the price of my shopping. Then I got some spinach. Mary likes to have this in her sandwiches for school and I use it just for salads and things two heads of broccoli, and then at the back, I got some avocados. I haven't bought avocados in ages, and I used to eat them every day for lunch, and I kind of got a bit sick of them. So I just fancied getting some again, and one thing I noticed again that avocado do that other supermarkets don't is sell three in a pack, and I can't remember how much these were to compare how that works out cost-wise, but yeah, nice to get three avocados instead of two. Then some leeks for the slow cooker dishes again. Down here, I picked up some of these sweet onions. They do these in Tesco sometimes, where's the label? They are just, oh, just sweet onions, that's all it says. But they are a really nice flavor and they work really nicely in 
casseroles and stews and things like that. I tend to always buy red onions, but um, yeah, these are really good. Then I picked up a family pack of sweet corn cobbets, and again, I haven't seen a pack this size in the fresh section in other stores. I think there's six in here, so we get through these quite a lot, and this was reasonably priced as well, if I remember rightly. Then I just got some garlic. Is that it for the veg? Uh, no, we have a cucumber up here as well. Then fruit-wise, I got some easy peelers for lunch boxes, some pears, they're Aiden's favourite this time of year. I also got some strawberries and a pack of the aromatic Waitrose blueberries, which are really good. I also got a fridge pack of mango, but it arrived broken. The packet was broken, it was all loose inside the bag, so that's a shame, I quite fancied that. Then down here for the fridge, I have two pots of hummus. Two packs of these fridge raiders. The kids love these. I hate them, but Dylan and Mary really enjoy them. So they have those in their lunch boxes. These were on offer as well. Again, on offer, I did quite well with the offers this time. These cheese strings, and they're the big packs. So I stocked up on those. Then this is, and I've tried them all, believe me, the best ready made katsu sauce that I've found in any supermarket. I've tried. I think every brand that does it because I just type katsu into the search box whenever I do an online shop. I have made my own in the past and it has turned out really nicely and I should do it again in a big batch and freeze some of it because we do love a katsu curry and that's what the breaded chicken is for actually. And again, I have breaded my own chicken but sometimes you just want the easy route and this is a really good substitute for homemade or for wagamamas. It's a really good one. Other bits for the fridge, I got this coleslaw, which I'm trying to recreate a recipe that we had in Disney. And again, I could make my own coleslaw, but I'm just feeling really lazy when it comes to food at the moment. So I just bought this one. It had really good reviews and it's a yogurt dressed one as opposed to mayo. I should also have some leftover for sandwiches and salads and things. Then some salted butter, some cheese slices for sandwiches some raisins and then everything else is store cupboard bits so we have some bagels these are to go with my avocado for lunches sandwich thins for the kids and these were on offer i think it was two for two pounds or something like that brioche for mani which is a staple she loves them then right at the back i have some sweet corn some sweet chili sauce this old el paso chili like a base for a chili i've never tried it before and i fairly sure I'm going to regret deviating from my normal recipe, but I don't know, I just fancy trying it. Two tins of red kidney beans in chilli sauce, then we have a big pack of toilet roll. This cereal was on a special offer and the kids love it, so I got that. Weetabix for Marnie, which is her favourite, and two bits for the freezer. Some edamame in the pod and itsu vegetable gyoza, which are just delicious. And that's everything. So that's everything I got in my first Ocado food shop. Overall, I was really pleased with the experience. I found the website and I actually downloaded the app as well and I found both easy to navigate. The only thing I didn't like was, because it was my first shop with them, I didn't have my favorites and they do allow you to import them, but for some reason my Tesco import wasn't working and I just, I gave up. So I did it all from scratch, which was a bit time consuming, but obviously, Next time I will have those favourites there to pull things from that into my shopping basket. So that will be quicker and easier. But overall I found the experience really good. I enjoyed doing my online shop with them. It was a bit of a novelty because it's a new site to look around and new products to try. So having said that, I didn't really try anything new from what I would normally but there you go, I'm a creature of habit. But overall, it was a good experience. I found price-wise, there were some good offers and I don't know, I don't think it's somewhere I will shop regularly unless I get discounts and voucher codes, in which case I will go back. I spent a total of 88 pounds and that was with a discount of, I think it, it was 30%, but it worked out at 25 pounds, which I think was the max that it would give you with that discount. So that would have been roughly £120 without the discount. And bearing in mind, I actually forgot a few things as well. That's not brilliant price-wise, but it's probably in the region of what I would spend if I was shopping elsewhere other than Aldi. So it wasn't horrendous but it wasn't the best either. So let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Do you shop with Ocado? And if you do, why? What is it that you find better about it than other places? Let me know in the comments. I think I will probably go back, as I said, but 
more than likely only if I get a voucher. Otherwise, I'll probably stick to shopping at Aldi, although I have just received two pre-Christmas discount vouchers from Waitrose as well, and they're quite large discounts. I think there's about 20 and 25 pounds. So you may well see a Waitrose haul coming up on my channel in the near future, so stay tuned for that. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you stick around, so do hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, then do give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.